Welcome to Empower to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan Al Basha, the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough, I am worthy, I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Empower to Grow. This is your host, Hanan al Today, I have an amazing expert in her field and an empowering and empowered woman all the way from the States. Michelle Seiler Tucker is the CEO and founder of Seiler Tucker Incorporated. She is the expert on mergers and acquisitions and everything about starting a business, scaling a business, selling a business. And she's also the author of Exit Rich, which is coming out really soon. Michelle, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. So the show is Empowered to Grow. How does that phrase resonate with you? What does it mean to you, being empowered to grow? So, you know, what it means to me is I have a team of people. I own multiple companies in different verticals. And one of the biggest, you know, we talk about infrastructure in my book, Exit Rich. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the 6P method. And the biggest P is people. Mm -hmm. The number one P is people. You don't build a business, you build people and people build the business. No one can really do anything significant without empowering others to do things that are significant. So Mm -hmm. I think empower to grow to me means empowering yourself, giving yourself permission, giving yourself permission to be uncomfortable with the, to be comfortable with the uncomfortable and giving your team permission to be uncomfortable. I mean, I just had a situation where I have somebody on my team that's so uncomfortable on doing something Mm -hmm. and doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So I struggle with, do I make them do it? (laughs) Or do I, or do I get someone else to do it? And I'm like, you know what, you're going to do it. Because Mm -hmm. if I, if I replace, if I, if I replace this task with someone else, then I allow you to give into your fears. Sure. I allow you to give into your self doubt and your negative self talk. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make you do it (laughs) and, 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 you know, empower you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable because you're either growing or dying. There is no in between. That's true. And (laughs) in essence, it's and empowering someone is really just pushing them out of their comfort zone. Right. And the problem is, and the problem too, it, with a lot of entrepreneurs who have employees and, you know, anybody that owns a business should have employees. Otherwise you just own a job, not a business, exactly. but anybody that, own, that has employees has to be uncomfortable, has to be comfortable with letting go of some of the control and empowering their people to make decisions. And mm-hmm. one of the biggest mistakes that business owners make is they're so fearful yeah. that their people are going to make the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, if their people make a wrong decision, then they beat them up for it. And then their employees are scared (laughs) to to even make a decision because they're afraid that they're going to be beat up for it. So you really have to train your people correctly. You have to obviously hold them accountable, but you want to make sure that you empower them. And when and if they make a bad decision, you can't beat them up for that because you want to make sure that you continue, you know, you, you continuously build them up, not tear them down and make sure you empower your team to make decisions and run your company. Otherwise you're just, uh, you're just going to, you're a slave to your company. Basically. That's true. You don't have a company, you have a job. That's true. So, okay. You're an empowered woman and you empower others. We'd love to, um, know a bit more about your story, please. Would you share some more of it? What do you want to know? (laughs) Uh, well, we say that you're an expert on mergers and acquisitions. Uh, you founded the companies, you support businesses, but to reach that point as a woman, because this show is all for women, it's about women empowerment. You know, a lot of the times we stop in our tracks because we don't believe in ourselves, because others have told us not to believe in ourselves, because they you can't, you shan't, you shouldn't, you won't, you know, all of these. So a bit about your story and how you've overcome those kind of adversities and those kind of limiting Sure. Blocks. 
And it's not, and it's not, I know it's a show for women, but let me tell you, it's men too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not just that. women, it's men too. I was just actually speaking about a man on my team that's, yeah. that's scared about doing something. So it's men too. Uh, but at any rate, I, you know, I am an uh, expert in mergers and acquisitions. I'm actually a mergers and acquisitions master and intermediary, senior business analyst, certified master, um, mergers and acquisitions professional, et cetera, and a bunch of other acronyms behind my name. Mm -hmm. When I first got in this industry 20 plus years ago, I walked into a conference and there were 3000 men. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally was the only woman wow. in the conference and everyone turned around and looked at me like, you're at the wrong conference, honey. <laughs> you should be at the beauty conference down the road or the dermatology conference uh -huh. down the road. And I'm like, no, I'm at the right conference. <laughs> and um, anyway, so I'm in a male industry, male dominated industry about when I started, it was like hundred percent male dominated. Now it's maybe 98% male dominated. And um, I really, you know, I really feel for me, I empower myself to always push myself beyond my limits. Mm -hmm. um, and even when I'm scared or nervous, and yes, I do get scared and nervous sometimes, <laughs> I still just, you know, I, I, I tell myself, this is temporary. This is temporary pain. Don't focus on the pain. Mm -hmm. Focus on the big picture, focus on the end game, focus on the prize, keep your eye on the prize. Don't focus on the pain. Yeah. Focus on the outcome. Yeah. I love that because so that that's kind of my story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a lot more there, but there I'm is a lot more. I mean, my story, like I, I started as a six year old, you know, seven year old, not playing. I don't play with toys and I never play with dolls. I walk up to strangers with a notebook, asking them a bunch of questions. And my mom's like, oh my gosh, she's going to be Barbara Walters. <laughs> you know, and I would walk up to him and ask him, what do you do? How do you do it? How'd you get started in business? And my mom's like, I mean, going, where does this come from? <laughs> and so, and then I always knew I was going to be a writer and I've written three books. Mm -hmm. And I always knew I was going to be an entrepreneur because I don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> and I always knew that I was going to help people because I love people. I'm a people person, you know, to me, everything, people is everything. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and it was a struggle. I mean, I've had lots of different struggles along the way. And I remember the first time I spoke on stage, um, my, my speaking mentor, I told, God, I looked around the curtain. I'm like, there's 800 people here. And he's like, yeah, I know. And I go, oh, I can't go up there. You know, I was like <laughs> petrified. And I said, what if I, I said, oh my gosh, what if I pass out? Mm -hmm. And he goes, Michelle, you're not going to pass out. And if you do, I'll just give you mouth to mouth. <laughs> See, I'm like, you're not giving mouth to mouth. Exactly. Yeah, I go, look, I'm not going up there. He goes, I will drag you up by your hair if you don't go up. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, we need that mentor. That's we true. need that expert. We need somebody to push us beyond our comfort level. And that's why I won't let my employee just bug out because he's nervous or he doesn't think he's the best person you know, for this position that we're trying to move him into. You got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You got to push yourself past your limits. That's, that's exactly true. So, okay, from where you stand right now, or you already started at six or seven years old, but uh, let's assume you're going back and you're um, imparting advice on your 19-year-old self. What would you tell her? My 19-year-old self, I would tell her, you're going to be okay. Your past doesn't define you. You're the star in your own movie or the director, you're the writer of your own script. You're in control of your future. I love that. From the other end of the spectrum then, what would you like your 90 year old self to send you um, kind of a thank you note for? Well done, well done, bravo, bravo. You did great. You touched so many lives, you improved so many lives. You've saved businesses, you've sold businesses, you've helped business owners retire rich. And exit rich, bravo. That's what I would tell my nine-year-old self is going to tell me. Well, speaking of exit rich, let's let's touch upon that. That's, <laughs> that's your latest book. And I would love to hear more about it. I know we're going to be touching more on the, um, on the whole, your strategy and everything and how you support people in business um, in our uncharted discussion in the second part. But exit rich is coming up. So, yeah, like, is this a way of life? <laughs> Could we say that... Practically, a lot of people, that's what they want to do. They, they start the business, they, they grow the business, they scale the business, they want to exit rich. Well, that's what they like to do, but that's not what most of them do in reality. Most of them have the dream of starting a business, scaling a business, 
and yes, exiting rich one day, but in reality, they don't. They mm -hmm. end up working in the business, not on the business. Yeah. They end up creating a job where they go to work at every day versus a business that actually works for them. Mm -hmm. They end up not being able to scale. And before they know it, years have went by and they're burned out, they're exhausted, and now they're ready to sell. And the business is not going to be worth what they need to retire on and or to exit rich. Mm -hmm. So exit rich is really all about um, talking about empowering. It's all about really empowering women and men, you know, that there's a better way that you really have to build a business that somebody actually wants to buy because <laughs> exactly. 80% in business, 80%. So Steve Forbes in America, Steve Forbes says 80% of businesses will never sell. 80% of the businesses on the market won't sell. So what does that mean? That means only 20% of businesses are selling. What does that tell you? That tells you the business owners are not building businesses that buyers want to buy. Yeah. So Exit Rich is all about building a sustainable, scalable. And when you're ready, you actually have a sellable asset. So. And Steve Forbes um, says he endorses Exit Rich and said it's an entrepreneur. It's a, it's a goldmine for entrepreneurs is to leave way too much money on the table when they go to sell their business. And Sharon Lecter, another empowering female, yeah. she wrote uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad with Robert Kiyosaki. She's a CPA financial literacy expert and the advisor to many different presidents. So mm -hmm. she writes a mentor's corner after each chapter. Mm -hmm. And then you guys don't have Shark Tank there, but we have Shark mm -hmm. Tank here. Yep. And one of the original sharks, Kevin Harrington, wrote the foreword. So Exit Rich launches June 22nd. That's but exciting. we're giving away huge value to all of your female entrepreneurs, all of your listeners, you. anyone who purchases the book before June 22nd. They can go to exitrichbook.com. That's exitrichbook.com for $24.79, which is less than Amazon. <laughs> we'll email the digital download to you immediately. We'll send the hardcover to your doorstep to anyone that lives inside the United States for no additional shipping cost. Outside of the United States, you know there's additional shipping costs. We'll give you a lifetime membership into the Exit Rich Book Club. And this was where a lot of value is. There's content of me doing videos with deep dives, you know, doing, taking into different techniques and strategies that I've been teaching over the last 20 years in the trenches to empower business owners, mm -hmm. you know, to build a sustainable, scalable, sellable business. And then guess what else we have? We have documents. So documents to run your business, documents to sell your business. So wow. we have sample employee handbook, sample policy and procedure manuals, SOP checklist, Sample letter of intent if you're trying to sell your business, purchase agreements, due diligence checklist, checklists, closing docs. All the documents you need to operate and sell your company are there for your review and your download. In the States, it would cost you over $50,000 to go to your attorney to recreate all these documents. So this is a huge value for $24.79. Plus, we're also giving a 30-day free membership into Club CEOs, which is an entrepreneurship mastermind where we really help business owners get unstuck and help them build their business so they can exit rich when they're ready. All of that is at exitrichbook.com for $24 and 70 Definitely. We're going to have that in the show notes and make sure that everyone benefits from that. That's a lot of value because I know what it is to spend a lot of time, as you said. Um, I think Tony Robbins says it is like a lot of people um, just get stuck being a business operator and not a business owner. And as you're saying, you just you really have to transition the way you think of your business, the way the vision you put for your business and the way you operate it to be able to right. sell, scale it and then sell it. So definitely a lot of value there. Thank you so much for that. I'll definitely put it in the show notes. So my last question for you and as we said, you're a speaker, so this is not uh, odd for you. You're on a stage and you're talking to tens of thousands of women. And the topic is about being empowered to grow. What would be that last message, the lasting message you leave them with? The last message is you don't have to do it alone. Yeah. You don't have to do it alone. There's always, you know, your network equals your net worth. Mm -hmm. And relationship capital is everything. And to find a mentor, find an expert, someone who's been down the path you want to travel, mm -hmm. learn from their mistakes. Yeah. 
they will be able to shorten your learning curve dramatically and shorten your path to success dramatically. Mm -hmm. Successful entrepreneurs love to help other successful entrepreneurs. And it's not what you know that gets you in trouble. It's what you don't know. <laughs> and I always, I always say it's hard to read the label from the inside of the bottle. You need an outsider's perspective to read the warning signs and keep you out of the danger zone. I love that. Yes, that's true. It's such a perspective shifter. It's like yeah. you're, you're inside it. You're, you don't know what's happening and you're engrossed in your story and in your everyday details. You just can't see the macro view of matters sometimes. When you're in your fog, it's, and when you're in the fog, it's foggy. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for this. Where can our viewers and listeners find you on virtual space? So they, so my my website, my main website is silertucker.com mm -hmm. and then connect with me on social media. I'm at Michelle Siler Tucker on Facebook, LinkedIn. Connect with me on LinkedIn. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Connect with me on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you so much for adding so much value. And thank you for paving the way in a male-dominated uh, segment of the society. Um, I'll have to say there are a few segments there that we need more of you and others to uh, pave the way. Um, being empowered is, as you said, it's about believing in oneself first, but also knowing that there are others out there that have paved the way that could support, that could see the label from the outside and um, just empower you the way you need to be empowered. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Well, empowered you empowers others is a slogan and um, Michelle shows that's the way of life. That's how you um, transition from just leading a life to leading a life that serves you and others. Thank you so much for joining us and I wish you love, abundance and prosperity. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with a tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananulbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.